Just how dominant will Kevin Harvick be? We're about to find out. Kevin Harvick on the inside. Chase Elliott on the outside. Making up row one as they come to the green flag. Three wide as they go to turn one. Eric Jones in that black and blue car on the bottom made it three wide and picking up some spots right here with that aggressive move. So with that restart zone and, and start finish line in that new area, you're going to pay attention to what lane was the winning lane, what lane dominated that start, and Kevin Harvick on the inside clearly in control into turn one. It's going to be important late in the race what lane they choose, control car. See Alex Bowman in that blue car, 88 car, all the way on the bottom of the racetrack, below that yellow line. Remember, you can run anywhere you want to run on this racetrack. With the 78 team of Martin Truex Jr., has really, they've really preached all weekend long that they just need to go out there and kind of take care of business as usual. But the team did tell me this morning that their mindset really could change in the third and the third Problem stage. with the four. Harvick up the racetrack Party easily passed his Chase Elliott, but the four slow on the track. He's got a flat, Rick. He said he had a flat. Tim Fito, as spotter, said, we got something wrong here. Kevin didn't say anything on the radio for quite a while, then came on and said, I've got a flat. That's all he said. You see him coming to pit road here. It's going to be closed, by the way, Marty, because two laps to go. They close pit road. Well, in double trouble. No interliners in these short track tires on the right side of the force. So you see the sparks. You see the damage. Even if he gets the pit road, the right front splitter missing. The right front sway, sway bar arm dragging. The four of Kevin Harvick, not to mention the time he's losing, but the damage being done, this may remove the four from a potential winner. He was only three points ahead of the cutoff line when this race started. Being out front helped, but now the points are definitely going to matter. Chase Elliott working his way down the backstretch for the final time in stage one as he goes through three and four. He is going to end up winning stage one. Chase Elliott gets the win. Kevin Harvick with problems on pit road. That inside line dives all the way down, cutting the dog leg off as they go to turn one. Look how low Kyle Larson is. That three grooves below that yellow line. How can he merge back up? There'll be three wide, real loose. Kurt Busch coming back on the outside of Chase Elliott. And he's going to take the lead. Wow, what a great run around turn one and two for Kurt Busch on the top. And be clear, what are they racing for? Look at the left. When the 41 passes the nine, the nine only is losing the race. He's out of the playoff picture. All these leaders came to pit road, took four tires. Chase Elliott is looking like he's still going to have to win this race versus someone like the 41, Rick. Yeah, the 41, anytime anyone that was below that cutoff line gets up there and is the race leader will indicate that just below Joey Logano because he's guaranteed a spot with his win earlier in this round. Now, the race leader, if they're a part of the playoff, part of this round of eight, they will be shown ahead of everyone else in points. Chase Elliott struggling on the short run here. He's got his hands full with Ryan Blaney on the inside here, down in turn one. Blaney using that apron, trying to get his car to turn. Chase way up the racetrack. He saw what happened when Kurt Busch passed him using that upper lane. Followed him, learned that lesson, went to the middle of the racetrack right on the run of the bottom. Caution has come out at ISM Raceway. This time, Joey Logano brings the caution out, and this means that that move that Joey Logano made at Martinsville, where he moved Martin Trex Jr. out of the way to get the win and a guaranteed spot in the championship for really is playing, paying dividends right now. You heard it there, guys, in the middle of the dog leg. The left rear tire obviously goes flat. Not sure if he ran over something or what the issue is. At that point, he's just along for the slide. As he comes to pit road, you cannot pass the pace car. Look, he accelerates to the pin entry lane right there, clearly ahead of the pace car. We've seen Jimmy Johnson penalized for this. The 78 of Martin Trex Jr. was penalized for this at this specific racetrack. This is something that they were just reminded this morning. Let's listen into the 41. How am I supposed to stay behind it? Oh, it's on the entry part. They're talking about where the commitment box is on entry. The pace car speed is faster than pit road speed. I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, he's frustrated, but it's very simple. You saw him accelerate on yes. the video. Why? There are some issues down here in the corner that perhaps if you run the right speed, you'll get in front of the pace car. They said, don't worry about that. What they warned them for is this specific thing. He accelerates to the line because you want to 
gap the guys behind you, right, Jeff? That's the goal as a driver. To, to try to you not know, to try to prevent the rule is you can't pass the pace car he clearly did it yeah it's something doesn't happen a whole lot because of the shape of most racetracks you don't see it a lot but at some racetracks you see it kelly and actually the 78 now assumes the lead but cole pern had tried to call martin truex jr to pit road last second it was too late they're actually happy now that he stayed out but he says he can't run the apron field going through the geico restart zone it is martin truex jr and look at the four Kevin Harvick right behind him, yes. He didn't come to pit road. They're going to try to utilize this strategy to see if they can gain points and get back into championship contention. But Kyle Busch did come to pit road, and look at him on the bottom. He restarted about ninth place. Look at where he is already, already up to fourth, using that apron to get there. Battling for third. Going to take third away from William Byron again on older tires. William Byron is fresh tires for Kyle Busch. Now he sets his sights on Harvick, trying to take second away. Guys, also the 88 and the 41, the 88 and the 20, both, they both have penalties as well on those pit stops. And you see on the left of your screen, as they run the points, the four of Kevin Harvick now above that cutoff line by 15 points based upon this huge move by staying out and trying to get stage points at the end of stage two. I'm just real curious to see where they come out. We know that when the caution comes out, they're going to pit. Some other people may stay out. How many spots is he going to give up on this next restart when they do come in a pit? And again, every spot on the racetrack is worth a point. Martin Trex Jr. now under attack from the two of Keselowski as we see Kurt Busch after serving that penalty. Well, and why that's so important, he's a lap down. He's racing, much like we said with Kevin Harvick earlier. He is trying to get to Chris Busher in the 37. He's three or four cars in front of him with only two laps. I'm not sure he'll have time, but you see to the left of that little screen of the 41, the 37 is right there. He's so close. If he could get there, he could get the free pass. That's what he needs to do, Kurt Busch trying to get up into the free pass position, but he's got a lot of traffic in front of him. Final lap of stage two. Kyle Busch, after changing tires, coming to pit road, those four fresh tires, he has checked out. Brad Keselowski running second, but it'll be Kyle Busch who'll win stage two here at ISM Raceway. Harvick was able to hold Kyle Larson off for that one point. Harvick ends up fourth, Larson fifth, and it's Austin Dillon, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, William Byron, and Eric Almarola, the top ten, all earning stage points. Green flag back in the air. 44 laps to go to determine the championship four. Pretty good restart for Kurt, but I don't know if he cut the corner enough, but he's still on the outside of that 20. The 20 gets loose. 20 loose. Here comes the 18. Bush, what and a restart. the side of the 41, oh. the 41 in the fence. They're and ready, now they're ready. sideways. The 11 oh, goes the down. The 9 gets caught. The 41 involved. Championship contenders involved here. Look at the damage to the 41 of Kurt Bush. The 9, a lot of damage to the right side for Chase Elliott. Those two coming into this race were fourth and, or fifth and sixth in the points. Quarter right front fence. They're up to the door off. Denny Hamlin looking for a win in 2018. It's not going to happen here. This all started with that aggressive restart. We saw them banging on each other in the middle of one and two. Just continued on all the way on the exit of turn two. Well, Eric Jones got loose right, on the right, inside of the 41 of Kurt Busch. And that drove them both up the racetrack. The 11 of Denny Hamlin was on the bottom and believed maybe that he had cleared all this. And Kyle Busch said, I don't know if I'm fast enough. And he just drove up there and, you know, <laughs> like he was. So look at Denny Hammond. He's on the inside. Eric Jones in the middle. Kurt Busch down into the corner. Jones gets loose, takes the 41 up the track. Here comes Denny Hamlin. He thinks he's probably clear of all these guys. Contact. Just come, comes up off the corner and gets into the 41, and that's when it all begins. Yeah, they just got together. Never could, never could get apart. And then the nine car, mind of his own business, right side, tore off his car. Just look like that once they get, once your car, it's hard to explain, but in the car, once the contact starts right here, the 11 up the track. Oh, Denny was a little loose. You yeah. See him check, check the back of the car a little Into bit. the 41, 41 in the wall. That shoots him back to the 11. And now it's just on. You saw the 41 in the wall again. Then watch the 41. He now turns left, not intentionally. He didn't mean to do that. And there's a nine car. 
nine cars championship hopes go away right there as well as the 41. Back up through the gears. Here comes the four of Kevin Harvick. Now a shove by the two. Gets into the back of the 10. Moving him up the racetrack. Almarola. Oh, way up the racetrack. High. Way too high. Here comes the four of Harvick for second. And look at that two of Keselowski also fighting in there for second as they go into three. Keselowski side by side for second with Almarola. Fresher tires on the two. If the two gets by Almarola, that completely changes what Harvick has to do. That's what he's wanting right now. He wants this pass to happen. Keselowski now. Falling back in behind the 10 of Eric Almarola. Harvick under attack from Larson. Harvick's going to lose that spot. Larson, pressure tires as well. The two car just too strong with these pressure tires for Eric Almarola. If he gets in front of Eric, he'll drive away. I'm thinking right now, Eric Almarola's strategy might be to let the two go get the 18. Yes. I don't think the 10 can run the 18 down. Maybe the two can. And we know those two have history. Maybe it'll fall the 10 cars away. Just stay as close as you can to the two. Let him do maybe a little blocking or moving out of the way and be the beneficiary of that. Nine laps to go in Phoenix. Almarola running third. Here comes Kyle Larson in the 42. Kyle Busch has a 1.1 second lead over Brad Keselowski. Is there enough time for Brad Keselowski to reel him in? Nine laps to go, tenth of the second of lap. Be right there. Now eight laps. It was a tenth and a half that lap. Those four tires, four fresher tires, were a little over a tenth of a second better than race leader Kyle Busch. Brad Keselowski trying to put together seven and a half perfect laps at ISA Raceway. I think he's going to get to the 18. I'm not sure if he'll be able to pass him with the last lap a tenth and a half. This time by another tenth and a half. I believe he's going to get to the bumper of the 18 for sure. Now Almarola doesn't want to get passed by Larson. Almarola is running third. Larson is right behind him. And if he takes that spot away, then that takes Almarola out of position if something happens between the top two. That's a great point, Rick. A great point. Keselowski, if he does get there, he's going to be aggressive. Out of the playoffs, nothing to lose. The 10 missed the bottom that time at three and four. It seems like Eric is just you know, trying, maybe just a touch too hard. Here comes the 42. Closing in on the back bumper of Eric Almarola. The gap not closing as much between the top two, the 18 and the two. Kyle Busch putting together some very good laps. And Kyle Busch wanting that momentum. He's already in the championship four. A win going into the final race of the season just uplifts the spirits of the entire team, knowing that they could potentially win a title. A tenth of a second faster for the two car that lap. The gap's a half a second between the top two. Eric Almarola now running in fourth. So funny. I talked, I talked to Kyle Busch this morning. How's, oh, oh because I missed it. Uh, that, might, that might do it. That may do it. Four laps to go. Kyle Busch with a six-tenth of a second lead over the race leader. Kyle Busch this morning. Chasing him. Told me, he said, I, I, I quit guessing. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what my car is. I don't think we're very good. Here he is with a chance to win. And the big three, when the season started and went through the regular season, dominating the wins between Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Martin Trex Jr. Now, those three look as though they will join the 22 of Joey Logano in Miami and run for a championship. Under three laps to go. Behind all this, great runs for Jamie Murray in sixth, Matt Kenseth in seventh, Austin Dillon in eighth, Bubba Wallace in ninth place. And William Byron in tenth, Newman, Almondinger, Hamlin, Trex Jr., and Jimmy Johnson all on the lead lap. Kyle Busch hitting his marks every single lap. The gap has not closed between Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski. Into three and four. 
Kyle Busch coming out. We'll see the white flag. White One flag. lap to go. Kyle Busch looking for his eighth win of 2018. One of the best in NASCAR, looking for another shot at the championship. Kyle Busch through three and four for the final time. Kyle Busch is going to win in the desert. You did it. Congratulations. Can you lock this up next weekend? I'd certainly like to think so. You know, we, uh, we had a rough start to the early part of this weekend, but it's cool to put it where we need to right here, right now, and in the victory lane with this M&M's Camry. Can't say enough about the crowd, everybody out here on the West Coast, Phoenix, you guys are awesome. And uh, just, uh, man, what a day, what a race. Uh, Brad was fast there at the end. I was trying to hit all my marks exactly right. And uh, he was a tick quicker than us, but uh, we got what we needed out of today.